All right, y'all. So today the plan is to do a little bit of a makeover here in my kitchen. Uh, I'm not going to go super crazy like I did with my bathroom and uh, my bedroom and all of that. I am going to try to slap some paint on here and I am going to try to do a few little things here and there. But for the most part, I'm literally going to be working with what I already have here in my home. Um, so I didn't go out and purchase anything new. Literally whatever I have here is what I'm going to use. Some of this stuff is previously purchased from, you know, Walmart, Dollar Tree, uh, just various places, Goodwill and all of that. I'm just reusing my resources and I'm going to try to do a little more of showing y'all some of my process, but I don't really know because I kind of do just want to get this video done. Um, but I know there are a few little things that I want to tackle, like this bread box back here. I want to revamp and do things like that. Um, I have an idea for this little area up here on top, and I wanted to hang up some more decor. I want to um, utilize the space in here and have more space to put, um, like, my spices and things like that and really uh i want to organize a little bit more in here so um you're going to see a little bit of a transformation but for the most part everything's going to look kind of the same but i hope it does turn out maybe it will be different who knows but i'm going to show you all the before and then we will hop right into today's video so we did have breakfast last night well like we had breakfast for dinner last night so there's still dishes from that but I'm going to take care of that at some point today as well. I'm kind of in a rush here for Tom because husband is home. He's currently doing some work out of town right now. But he will be home later this evening. And I want to get all of this done before he gets home. So here is just the overview of everything. Um... I'm just going to try to, like I said, revamp it and kind of make it a little more fresh, um, a little more my taste, I guess. But yeah, this is kind of the overview. Like I said, we are going to get to those dishes and all of that. I have all of my stuff out here my craft stuff and I'm just thank you it's kind of gonna just be one of those things to where we're gonna DIY and clean IY as we go Okay, so like most things, here we are again with, I started out with one color and now we're going to a different color. Actually, we're just going to go to white because I just didn't like the contrast of colors once again and it just looks more clean and chic with the white. So that's what we're going with. While the paint is drying, I'm going to try something. I'm not sure how it's going to work, um, but I wanted to add like a little bit of differentiation between the kitchen and like this is our little laundry room nook thing. Okay, so I don't know if y'all remember, but some videos back, I did a failed 
faux brick wall. Well, I kept the little faux brick that I made and I just threw it in my closet. Well, I was thinking, here it is. Here it is. Um, the reason I didn't like it, right? And I know y'all can already see, I'd be like, ew, what? I have an idea though. Okay, so I ended up painting over it black and I hated it. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang it up here along this little nook area or whatever you wanna call it. And I think I'm gonna repaint it. I don't know, just bear with me is all I'm saying. Like, just stay, stay with me. I don't know yet. We're gonna see how it turns out. If not, we can rip it down and it's fine. Okay, so I'm going to let it dry and I'm painting the trim and I'm also gonna go in and whitewash it. So, I'm so far in love with it, but we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out here in a minute. Well, hey y'all. So, it has been like a week since I started this video. Um, I literally, <laughs> I have to confess y'all, I'm such a liar right now, but not intentionally. All right, long story short, um, my husband like sold some stuff and then he let like gave me the money and said, you know, do with whatever you want with it. And so, of course, I decided I'm going to pour more money into some projects. So, it has been about a week and I am not done with the kitchen. I painted this white. I don't know if I showed that yet. I, I'm not sure where where I left off in the video but um I painted that white I did some more on the uh brick wall over here the faux brick wall but I'm actually gonna do some more to that wall um in this wall also because I was like looking at it and to me it's coming off more farmhouse than it is like rustic western which is what I'm going for and so I have a couple of ideas and then I also ordered some contact paper, the same contact paper that I used in my bathroom. I'm going to put it the floors, but put on the floors in here. And I have a lot of just like tedious little projects that I want to do. So this video might end up being kind of long. I apologize but at the same time like I want to get my home done like I'm ready to be done with it I'm just ready to just relax and enjoy it but I'm what like I'm one of those people like I said in the previous videos I once I start something I like need it to be completed so I have a few little things that I'm gonna be showing y'all throughout the video and then I think what I will do maybe in another video or maybe at the end of this video probably not but probably in another video what i'm thinking is i might just do like a whole tour and show you like all the things that i've made and stuff like that um because like i said there's just going to be a lot of tedious tedious things that i don't really want to record i don't really want to show in full detail because it would just take way too long but um, a lot of the projects, let me just tell you some of the things that I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to make a few signs um, to go above, you know, the different areas of my home. There's just some decor that I'm wanting to use up um, and put up because I just have a lot of stuff that I've collected over the years that I'm either, I need to either use or give it away. Like, it, I'm just, it's too much clutter. I'm like in this space where, this mindset where I'm like, okay this this needs to go but anywho um there's just going to be some things like i'm going to be painting the trim uh things like that uh taking the hardware off of all these cabinets and spray painting those like just little things like i said that i just don't feel like 
are relevant you know what I mean like I don't know but anyways I'm about to eat me some food and get started on these projects so I am beyond excited and the thing of it is too like usually along the way my mind changes so like I'll have a, a, an idea in my head and then once I start like looking at it or start making it sometimes it's just like a happy accident and something else will like spring in my mind and I'm like oh you know actually that would look better here or actually I'm I'm thinking about this you know and so that's another reason I don't want to show every single thing because I change my mind so much and like I'll start looking at things and I'll go mm, actually I kind of don't like that I actually don't think that would turn out right and that's kind of what happened with the faux brick wall um I actually ended up repainting that which I'll show you in just a minute but like I said I'm gonna add even more things to it but I really think that what I'm gonna add is gonna be like but I'm going to hop over here and eat so we can get started. Also, do y'all see that like weird green overcast on my video i'm pretty sure it's from our lots in the kitchen that it messes with the camera and only the camera can pick it up but anywho all right y'all so what i did was i took some masking tape and i'm just literally like lining the wall so that i can paint over it i also used my staple gun to really reinforce the foam board And then I'm just taking some plaster. I'm pretty sure it's like, I don't know what it's called exactly, but basically it's the stuff that you use to fill in holes and stuff. And I'm just gonna go over top of the faux brick and give it this look that to me turned out really, really cute. Um, I wanted it to look like the brick was peeking through the wall. All right, y'all, so I just used my Cricut machine and made this stencil, and then I also used this Crackle Barrel paint from Walmart, 50 cents, y'all, and I'm gonna stencil on kind of like a wallpaper or like, I guess, a painted wallpaper, but here in a minute, you're gonna see that the paint did bleed through because our walls are textured, so the paint does, you know, come through the stencil, but it's okay because here in a minute, you're gonna see I take a wet washcloth and I start wiping some of that excess off and what I was trying to achieve was I wanted it to have more of a rustic look so I wanted that white to peek through a little bit seeing as how the texture is on there you're gonna see here in a minute what I'm saying but it, it, it just came out so cute and I really liked the look and so I wasn't worried for a second about the fact that it was bleeding through because I already had in mind that I was gonna do this little part of it. Sometimes you just have to trust the process. This is the same contact paper that I used in our bathroom and y'all, it is such a good quality. I highly recommend it. It is on Amazon for like six bucks. I will try to link it down below. Like I said earlier, I did not film every single thing that I did because it was just too tedious. There was just too many things. And honestly, I was just over it by the time I got done. But y'all, look how cute this turned out. I am just overly obsessed. To me, it gives me like this retro country feel, this vintage country top feel. And it just feels like an old kitchen, but modern at the same time. And I absolutely love it. Now, I know a lot of y'all have always said, oh, I love your stove. I absolutely cannot stand the color, 
but I am grateful that God gave me this kitchen and that I'm able to make plenty of meals in here. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and until next time, God bless y'all and go and be a light out there. Hey y'all, if you enjoyed today's video and don't wanna miss out on content like this, then please click over here to subscribe to my channel. Or if you wanna watch more videos like this, then you can click right here.